I'm going to head back in and I'm going to pay. I've spent some money in here today. Well, hello friends and welcome back to my channel today. I'm excited. I am at an estate auction here in Orleans. It's a Robinson Auctions. They have them every Wednesday. Um, and I have told my, my view, normally I can't come cause I have to do shipping, but I told my viewers that I'm going to an auction today and I will do their shipping the following day. It's been a month since I've done any major antique shopping and I'm filling it. I, I'm going in. I'm going in. There's a lot of glass here today. So let's go in and let's tour this auction a little bit and, um, see what we can get today. All right, we've got lots of little figurines. We've got some jewel tea. Ooh, and some bohemian glass. That's beautiful. A whole flat of bohemian glass. Carnival glass, lots of creamers. I wanted to come over here and look at these Empoli snifters over here. Look at this big blue one. That's a ginormous one. Oh, looky here. Oh, these are great. So these are little miniature books. Oh yeah, okay, so you can see they all have their titles, the importance of being artists. So this is Oscar Wilde, so they're all like classic authors. There's Conan Doyle, there's Sherlock Holmes. Oh, this is good. The Happy Prince by Oscar Wilde. I've actually sold these little books um, individually for a decent amount of money. I mean, this is a whole collection. The greatest thing in the world. This one looks like it's a little bit different up here. It's just a different color. Oh yeah, this, this, this is something that I'm going to definitely be looking at for sure. That's, that is so cool. Oh, I love that. It's in this little in this little cabinet so that's that's really nice what are these these are little modern pieces tiny talk sprinkle of love those are kind of cute i don't like the home co people or the birds but look at all these babies oh i have that little guy look at the little babies so some of these are could be well, this one i think is for sure that one's left in this one is a Nesco, probably. Yeah, or Jasco. Jasco. Little baby one. I actually have this. Ariana sent me that. Um, look at her. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. The little flat of cute babies. Adorable. And some piano babies there. This. Okay, so this is. I'm going to see if the other pieces are here. Look at this beautiful Epern. The jack in the pulpit. So it's a four horned Epern. These. You know, it doesn't go in there, but these are going to glow. I've got my light on me. I'll check them here in a minute. But I don't know if they have the bowl that goes with them. But the, the four-horned Epern. Look at this jack in the pulpit. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to see. Yeah, it glows. Nice. These glow. I did just buy a whole bunch of those at the last auction I went to. But those glow nice as well. Okay. I like that. These purple brandy snifters, these Empoli brandy snifters, I like those. And then we've got some Roseville. It's got a little booba right there. This one is legit Roseville. It's got the USA on the bottom. And we've got some cameo, um, fencing cameo glass, more pieces of Roseville. You can tell the, the fakes from the real just by the markings on the bottom and kind of how it's painted. So those are those are both legit and so was that one as well here we got a little fenton <clears throat> this is this one is prior to 1971 i think this one's probably from the 1960s it's got the foil sticker there and it's not marked fenton on the bottom so that means it is an older piece we have all this uranium glass here nice pieces there i don't think this has its lid this is a hazel atlas Oh, that's a nice little custard. A little custard dishes. Oh, these vases here. So let me pull out my keys on my keychain. Uh oh, I put it in the other pocket. All this is probably going to glow, I'm assuming. Yeah, we got all the glowing stuff around here. 
those do not glow at all. Oh, that one's a nice one too. I like that picture there. And there's the butter, the butters. All these beautiful Latin lamps. It's something that I am not interested in because I am not going to ship those, but there's a lot of them. Beautiful Aladdin lamps here. Beautiful pieces. One of the things that I'm really interested in is this dollhouse here. I really want to get this dollhouse and set it all up. And then look at the Lionel trains. But are these Lionel? Kansas City Southern. It might be Mark's. Mark's pieces in there. On the other side of this dollhouse, there's another little set I want to show you. That little kitchen. I want that. It's the pretty maid. It's missing the sink. I don't think that the sink is in that other refrigerator, but it's missing the sink and the countertops, but I think that would be cute as a display. We've got some fire key. Now, fire key will not glow, so this isn't going to glow, but this is a, I always get confused. I think that is a C handle. There's a C handle and a D handle, and I, they all look familiar to me, so I get them confused sometimes. This one's nice because it does have the saucer as well. And then we've got some Pyrex. We've got the entire set of the primary mixing bowls here. And they all are in pristine condition. So those are probably going to go for a nice penny. And then this is a beautiful piece of Fenton Burmese right here. It is signed by George W. Fenton. Uh, painted by Kay Easton. So that's a pretty one. I wonder if that one's going to glow. Let's see. Let's see. Nope, it doesn't. Sometimes you think, oh, that's Burmese, it's gonna glow. I'm like, see, that doesn't glow. I have to always check it though, even though I know that the Fire King does not glow, but it's it's like a habit, you have to check it. Oh my gosh, look at this little sew-o-matic senior. The little sewing machine, that is adorable. That is cute. There's a little flea market car, there's a plant stand, a globe, a yellow tray. These marbles, I did test them, they, none of there are any glowers in here, but there's some shooters. There's a nice agate shooter in there. This is a pretty piece too. This little orange has a pretty unusual shape to it. Like that. Look at this highway road set mechanical. This is in its original box and it has the road and the cars. Oh my gosh, the little friction car set. That is so cool. And then the little roller coaster here with the little roller coaster, with a little car. Oh, that's, look at the little people that are inside the car. That's so adorable. We also have a ceramic Christmas tree. Those that I'm, that's going to go for a lot. I already know. But I wanted to see this. This is really cool. I have been selling these vintage cars on eBay. And I've been doing pretty well with them. This one, does it have the rumble seat in the back? Uh, no, I thought maybe it had the rumble seat in the, in the back. They did a lot of reproductions of things like this, so you really kind of have to look it over and see. This one is an original one, though, but I know that this is the kind of stuff that a lot of the gentlemen here at the auctions are going to go for, so I'm probably not going to be able to touch this, but it is still pretty neat to see this old uh, fire chief truck. Some boxes of ephemera, which I love. Directions for use and adjustment of chambers for fireless gas ranges. These are nice, too. These you would hang in your window if you had a soldier in your family. I like those. 1915 Nebraska Bridge Supply Lumber. So a lot of these are like little ledger books, or calendars. I like those. I like things that have the a, a past, too. Look at this. The Vogue. Bloomington, Indiana, Women's Apparel, United States Civil Service Commission. I love stuff like this. I love stuff like this. And see, most people will be like, man, I don't like that kind of stuff. I do. Look, Frigidaire Manual, Home Economics, some glasses. And then here we've got some, what are these? Official Certificates. Independent order of odd fellows. So some odd fellows uh, papers in here. That's pretty cool. What is this? Order invitation of military service. 1918. Wow. And we've got some just some really cool ephemera and letters in here. Santa. 
marriage license. When is this from? 1920. That's really neat. Okay, I like that kind of stuff a lot. All right, making my way over here to look at the box lots. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to stay for the box lot box lots, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try my best. This is pretty cool. I like this. The Continental Baking Company, Indianapolis, Indiana. This box here. That would be a great box for my bears. Property of Hostess Cake Kitchen. I love that. Is this a flip, a flippy doll? No, it's not. I thought maybe she had a whole other body underneath her dress, but she doesn't. But again, like I say, these box lots, man, couldn't really find some treasures. Could really find some treasures. I see a vintage school box and a typewriter. And look at this little baby blanket of the baby Looney Tunes. No, yeah, are you Bugs Bunny's Looney Tunes, right? Oh gosh. I should know this. That's my that's my era. Some big big ornaments. And look at this. I actually had this. Now this was prior. This was probably from the 60s and I was trying the 80s. But we went to yard sales and stuff. And I had that. I had this exact same Barbie van. I did. But this. Look at this little school box. I love stuff like this. Constitution for the Baptist Church in Bloomington, Indiana. We got all the little, they kept all their little pens and pencils in there. I like this typewriter. I think it, I saw this in the preview and it was an aqua color. The typewriter was an aqua color too. This vintage coat in here. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a NASCAR, Jeff Gordon. Oh, there's some hats. Some hats in there. I always like to find a good vintage hat. Some artwork, a chair, some shelves. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, bath beads. Perfumed bath oil crystals by Francis Harriet. Do you have to put it back in the box that you found it from? Because that all comes together. There's a, a jardinier stand. And there is the jardinier. Ooh, okay, I gotta look at this. We got to look at this. Ooh, yeah, that's, that's McCoy. That's a beauty. I wonder, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't go with it, but it could. That would be good. Like that. I don't know what this is. It's the legs to something. Again, treasures in the box lots treasures we got some modern foot flow blue not the antique flow blue there's santa the kitchen caddy oh look i gotta do it because every time i see these i think of liz retros and mr retros oh 1973 i love these all oh, his little wings broke though the little bumblebee has a broken wing a little plate. This is a might be a hazel. Oh, it's her water jug. Anchor Hawking. So Frigidaire would do these sometimes in a green uranium glass and they would give them away if you bought a refrigerator. Look at all this Melmac in here. Or Melamine. Ooh, I like those. That's a whole lot there. Look at that gravy boat. That's groovy. I like that box. Other people will like that box too. I have no doubt. There's some vintage Tupperware in here and a glass bowl. Look at that. That's plastic. <gasps> Look at this. First of all, I think I need this in my life. I mean, everybody should have a little accordion. Look, here is the... Oh, it doesn't have the original thermos, but it does have a thermos. Honestly, that's in lovely condition. That's cool and all, but I was like looking at these tiger beats. Tiger beat. Look, they're all like from the monkeys. Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. Oh my gosh, tiger beat. They're all the monkeys. That's a treasure. I like that box. Oh, here is a Roy Rogers hat. That's from the 1950s. Look, Roy Rogers. That's cute. 
more little odds and ends some sugar spoons scrapbook kit oh here is an angel these are nice uh, what is the brand on you girl i don't know if you're empire she's kind of she's got a little broken piece down here um, i have sold these many many times that's a good little piece there vintage christmas look at the little bitty ice skate well that's adorable what's this eye care magnified image Sometimes when you're going through these boxes, you're like, this was somebody's, all their stuff from their closet. You know, like that. All the stuff from their closet. Now we're just looking at them at an auction. Those are some shoes from the 90s, those little platform shoes there. Got some fabric pieces. Hall, H-A-L-L. -L. What are you? You're a little hippopotamus. I think everybody had one of these dogs in the 90s. All right, still looking through some of the boxes here. This is made in Japan, little vase there. That's neat. Some vintage patterns. Here's a planter of a Royal Copley dog. Yep, your Royal Copley little, little um, spaniel. Some sewing notions. Oh, cookie soup. Oh, I love the books. Love books. Key 73. Touched by the fire. The, the Psalms. Um, oh, a little Daisy and Buttons hat. Oh, man, I love... Look at the unicorns. <gasps> Snoopy Bank. Oh, Snoopy was a little melted. He got a little close to the fire there, Snoopy. Oh, but here's another one. That's not melted. Do you remember these Snoopy stickers? Chex Party Mix and Peanuts. 40 years of tradition. Oh, here's a Bluebird. Bluebird. 1996. Here is a whale. Made in China. What's this mug? Oh, a little Bumblebee mug. Ross Havers. Candlelight pieces in there. There's, no, I was like, are you a fairy light? Yes. There's a little home co fairy light with the shade on it there. There are so many things at this auction. Look at this linens. A beautiful vintage tablecloth and these napkins. Bart Simpson. It's just a little something for everybody. It's a nice thing about going to an auction. There's things for everybody. You know? There's children's books. There's Bart Simpson. There's vases. There's plates. That plate. Oh, it's a religious play. I was like, are you Peter Max? <laughs> I don't think you are. Kind of looked like it for a few seconds. Here is a lighter and some anthropomorphic chalk fruit. An apple and a pear. And a little, a little treasure trunk. It's made out of some sort of bone or horn. Here's a little blue squirrel of happiness. I don't know where it's from, but that's what we're going to call him. He is a blue squirrel of happiness. There's a little pillbox there. That's pretty. I want to see another dollhouse over here. This one somebody has made. Oh, man. Maybe I can get it and I can, I can fix it up. That's a little Lionel train thing right there. Look at this little record deal here. That's pretty cool. Morse. Electrophonic. AM, FM. With the speakers up there. Ooh. And this beautiful table and chair. I've never seen a chair with these little ornaments on it. And they're all different. So I think these were added on later. We've got a table and three, four, five chairs. A table and five chairs. Really neat furniture. I'm not in the market for furniture because I can't don't have any space for it or any way to get it home but there's always great furniture at auctions and honestly it doesn't go for very much so if you're wanting some furniture you can probably really get a good deal on some antique pieces of furniture at an auction because a lot of people don't want to well they don't want to haul it away so if you want some antique or vintage furniture check out an auction that's typically the best place to go Ooh. That's a beautiful framed plate there. Oh, look at this little chap. 
Night Chris Christina by Hella Peters, Chicago. That's really lovely. 1920 is a day. It's like a composite piece. Looky there. Looky there at that little baby. A little prixie. And look at let's move these scissors out of the way. Look, he is a wolf. Big bad wolf. And there's tiny treasures, as Michael Todd would say. Tiny treasures. Looky here. There's a little pupper. And there is another little pupper. There's a little salt cellar. Some little personal salt. Oh, here's this, the little lid for that. That's, that's German, I think. Very, very lightweight piece there. And the little applied handle, hand blown green creamer. That's nice. Oh, here's some babies. Whee! More time. Oh. Put you over there. Face you face down, clown. You sit over there and think about being a clown. Some penny dolls. You like the penny dolls. And a leg. Oh, here's a little angel. Little angel bell. In German, we say Merry Christmas. Oh, that's the way that they say Merry Christmas. Tiger, help me out there. I'm not going to try to pronounce that. But, oh my gosh, look at the little bunnies. I'll have to go over there and look at that flat. We've got a receipt spike. We've got, this is a string pull. So you put your ball of string in her head and she'll pull it out her mouth. That's always fun. Okay, let me walk around here so we can look at these other little, little bitties. And this, are you Pendleton? Yes, you are Pendleton. Little playing. These are pretty collectible. Playing the mandolin. She's playing her. See, everybody needs an accordion in their life. They're, they just got married. This is okay. Are, okay, these are the best wick. These are the good ones. So we've got one, and we've got not Mark Best Wick. We've got. This one's, I just sold her. She's Bestwick. Yep, that's good. This is a good flat here. Look at her. She's cute. And look, we got a little squirrel. Oh, he's got a broken foot. Tiny treasures. Look at that little dollop of glass. And look, at there's a little bitty bluebird. Now, this is Phoenix Studios. It's Fayetteville, Arkansas, but not seen it. Marked Phoenix Studios before. Got some piano babies, but yeah, that's that's a good box there. That tis a good box. Look at these little salt cellars. Those are beautiful. And these might be butter pads, actually. Those are really neat. Okay, I got the little cart here. I actually think I might put it on my porch, put flowers in it. And then I got this entire stack of pillowcases for $25. So that was an amazing, an amazing deal for the linens. All right, I got two more boxes of linens and hankies for $7 a flat. All right, I got me another little wheelie cart for $25. This one's nice because it has the electrical outlet in it, but I needed another one for the shop, and it's got night. It, we it wheels nice. I, I already wrapped it all, but I did get some Bohemia glass, but I already wrapped it. I forgot to, I forgot to show you that, but you'll see it soon. All right, I got another flat of the Bohemian glass. Really, really pretty. Some vases and these little uh, cordial or wine, little little wine glasses or little cordial glasses. So I got the flat for twenty-five. Little rocking chair. That's a cute one. Perfect for little bears or babies. 
they're they're doing these wood carvings and i kind of and fall in love with that little bear jacob's ladder when you plug it in the electric goes right up it's pretty listen i'll skip you one time and see if you get that one in hey sell the carving that jean's got oh i might i might oh i like him go get 10 to start that one i got 10 not 15 not 20 not 20 not 20 not 20 not 30 oh no he's in got 30 got 35 35 not 40 i won't go anymore he's so cute so cute. I don't think I can do that. Am I going to get him? Oh, yes. He's handmade. I kind of just fell in love with him. He's so cute. He's got little chubby arms. Oh, my God. Am I going to... Oh, my God. He's so cute. Look at him. I loved him. I actually think I'm going to put him up and give him to Mark for Father's Day because I think Mark will like him. He's so cute. Look at that little chubby fella. These are for the head bases. $55 uh, choice for the head bases. Okay, I got the books. I, I paid for them, too. I paid $95 for the set, but I honestly fell in love with them. And I have sold, I've sold them for $20 a piece. The books for $20 a piece. So there's a whole collection, 20, 40, 60, 80. So, you know, theoretically, that stack will pay for the entire lot. So I'm very, very happy. I'm very, very happy. Like I said, I paid for them, but I absolutely love them. All right, I got the flat of Cupies for 35 uh, Some of them are so cute. Like, I've never seen that one before. Very, very cute. I love my Cupies. Eh, don't really care about you, Angel. I've got this little guy, but, yep, yeah, pretty cute. All right, I got the little stubby Fenton vase. Uh, not Mark Fenton, I believe it's from um, probably the 1960s. I'm not sure what color that foil label is, but um, I paid $30 for it. So I like I like that it's so squatty and cute. So yay, yay, yay. I'm happy with that. Okay, I did buy something that I think is pretty amazing. My son came here to help me load it in the car. Once I get it in the house, because I'm keeping it, I'll show it. Um, I'm actually I'm waiting for the dollhouse to go up, and then I'm probably going to take off um, and go to a couple little stores here. So just waiting on the dollhouse to see if I can get that. But I'm really excited about the one thing that I got. And wait to the end of the video, and I will show you once I get it in my house. We are doing the dollhouses now, and they're coming together as a set. The kitchen and the house. I'm getting it 10. Oh, yay! Yay! I want to play dollhouse. Yay! Okay, I got the two. I got these for $5. Or for 10. Yeah, five dollars. I got the set of them for five dollars. I'm I'm definitely gonna keep this house. I want to get some doll furniture, and I love it. Look, it's got the little things on the window. It does have the door. The door just isn't shut. We've got the stairs, and the little boys are in the bathroom. I love it. I wish I had some of the doll, uh, the little Renoir dollhouse furniture that I've sold. Um, but this is really cute too. I can fix this door on here. Like I said, it's missing the sink and this part right here. But golly, for a display, I think it's adorable. It's adorable. So I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with that. All right, guys. Well, I'm back at the shop now. It was a fun day at the auction. Make sure that you go and check out Robinson's Auctions. They have uh, they list on Auction Zip, and they do have a website. And I will link their website down in the description so you can go and check them out and find out when their upcoming auctions are. I know that they did say that they have a lot of auctions coming up, and I'm planning on go attending several of them. So check them out. Also, if you're in the area, stop in. It's about time antiques in mitchell indiana it's a sweet little shop and and I, I i found some good stuff in there today and also check out washboard antiques i went to three places today i'm making up for lost time for uh for not shopping for a while so now i've now i've gotten it out of my system and now i'm going to focus on not going shopping but i probably will go to the auction uh, maybe every other week 
we'll see maybe every week if there's some good stuff there and there typically is so anyway thank you guys so much for going to the auction with me going to the uh the antique stores with me and i will see you in the next one this was the item that i got from the auction the big item that i got and i absolutely love it it is now i'm not certain that it was originally a coca-cola cooler or anything um, I'm kind of leading to believe that these were added at another time. I'm not sure about that, but um, we do have some rust down here at the bottom, but it is an old ice box. And you open it up, and there is the inside. And this down here is a flap that flaps up that held the drip tray, and then the ice would have gone in there to cool up everything i just put some things of my things in there but i probably will put some games in here but i absolutely love it and that was a, an exciting find for me to find this great great piece it goes well with my other coca-cola items so i absolutely love it red hot mama red hot Drop his fiddle, make a bald head, a man part his hair in the middle. I'm a red hot